Hey everybody, it's Lon Seibin and I have an update on the Open EMU emulator that we looked at last week. A viewer, Ryan Walker, wrote in and said that he found that his sister's installation of Open EMU had a lot more cores or emulated systems than his did. And as you know uh, from our original video, it only it supported quite a bit. So I don't want to say only, but it only supported uh, these systems you see here, you know, the Game Boy and some of the, the more classic systems from Nintendo and Sega. Uh, but it was missing arcade emulation and a few other things. So uh, I went out to their website to try to figure out why Ryan's sister was seeing more than Ryan was, and me for that matter. And there's actually two little prongs to the download button here. And uh, what you want to do is click on the little arrow here. So if you click here, you get the, uh, the stable release. But if you click over here, you get the experimental. And uh, the experimental release gives you a lot more. So if I move over here, you can just see how much more there is. Um, so we have Arcade, which is MAME. And that is, uh, for the Mac, we finally get the interface back. Because we used to have this great um, MAME emulator called MAME OS X. Uh, it has been not supported in quite a while. Uh, so now we've got this beautiful interface for arcade emulation, and it seems to be working pretty well. So if I uh, just double click on this real quick, I'm just going to turn my sound off here. Um, you'll see that uh, we get um, essentially <laughs> Street Fighter 2 running here. It's going to wait for all the, uh, the screens to come off, but uh, it works great. And I, I'm, I haven't really put it through its paces yet, but uh, needless to say, you've got uh, the ability to do that, to, to emulate uh, Street Fighter 2 uh, within the nice, really nice uh, interface that we get. Uh, with Open EMU, and I'll show you too that it also lets you uh, configure it very easily. So if we go over into our control screen here, let me just zoom back in over here for a second. Uh, if we go back to our control scheme here, you don't you don't get the the graphic of the controller here, but uh, look how easy this is to configure. It's really nice. Now I don't know if it's going to do uh, per game kind of configuration or not. Uh, so we'll need to look into that a little bit more. But uh, it's really nice to finally have an interface to MAME on the Mac that is not, you know, there's, there's a lot of them out there, but there haven't been that many that have been really that easy to use. So uh, that was pretty cool to see. Uh, another thing that's interesting is and it, it, the experimental version is kind of giving us a window into how they're going to develop this moving forward. Uh, so what's neat about it is that by default, it doesn't have the Nintendo 64 core on there, even though it'll support the game. So here's a favorite of mine, Pilot Wing 64. Uh, and if I double click on it, it's going to tell me, hey, you're missing the core. Would you like to install it? So uh, you just do that, and it'll download the core, and it will uh, load up Pilot Wings for us, hopefully. We'll see if it, uh, the core actually works. And yep, there we go. So uh, you can see that it's, uh, it looks like it runs really nicely also, by the way. So uh, really cool stuff. So that is uh, Open EMU. This is the experimental version. So uh, go and grab that, and you can check out uh, my video that I did of the emulator where I go into more detail about how to work how it works and how to configure it. But uh, this is exciting. So I would actually go grab that experimental version. You know, we don't want to experiment with our web browsers. We like to have stable code there. But I think for an emulator, we can, uh, we can get away with experimental code if it means we can uh, run some of our classics that we want on our Mac. This is Lon Seibin. Thanks for watching.